Hey, how's it going? So like I said, I'll show you a way that you can do the zoom in, zoom out transition. Um, this is by Chung Deha. He has created this effect. Um, so you have to head to his website. Um, here it is here. I'll put it in the um, description as well. Head there, um, and then you follow the steps here to download it. So if you do like it, then you can donate um, also to him. Uh, so it is free, but if you yeah, if you enjoy it, then just donate if you want. So once you've downloaded it um, and you follow all the steps, then you'll find it in the effects panel, so it's not in the transition. So I'm going to use these two clips here, um, and then I'm going to create a zoom in effect. So I'm going to create a zoom effect from this clip to this clip. So what you have to do is you have to cut the end off uh, the first clip and then the start off the other clip. The more you cut off, between the two clips, the longer the transition, the smaller amount you clip off, then the faster the transition. Depending on what I want to go for, um, I will play around with this, okay? So you might not get it on the first go. Um, so I'm going to cut it there, so just com Command B, and then on this clip here, I'll do about the same. So I'm just going to Command B. And now you can see here, you've got two separate little clips here. This one here is called the Out Clip, okay? And this one here is called the in clip. So there's a zoom in in and zoom in out. Okay, and then you have zoom out in and zoom out out. So let's look at the zoom in in and the zoom in out first. These two clips here will give you the zoom in effect. So like I said, this one here, the first clip is the out clip. Okay, so it's not actually this one here that you use. It's this one. So the out out, you just click and drag onto the out clip okay because this is the outro okay and then you go to the in clip and you go see here capitals in that is gonna go onto the in clip it might take a little bit to get your head around that you'll probably put the wrong in and out on the wrong clips but you'll get the hang of it and you can see there it's pretty nice smooth transition okay this is the out clip so the zoom out out goes on that one and then the zoom out in goes on the in clip. Sweet. And then you just let that render. So here you have it. And there you go. So now you have the out transition. Nice and smooth and it works pretty well. Okay. So that's how you have to do it with um, this effect. It's a little bit different. Um, you have a few more steps compared to the motion VFX where you just click, drag and put it on between the two clips. And you have a few more um, transitions as well and presets, okay? But yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, good work by uh, Chung. So if you like the video, subscribe, comment, like. Uh, until next time, cheers.